Hey, this is Jason with Mac How Do I. I want to run through what I think are the seven best new features in Mac OS Mojave. If you haven't installed Mojave yet, I highly recommend it. I am really loving it. So um, let's start out with number one instead of starting, uh, you know, doing this typical countdown thing all the way. Let's start with number one. My favorite thing, and this is a bit shallow, but I love the look of the dark mode in Mac OS Mojave. I think it looks great. I've always been one of these people who likes to play around with the themes back in the old days of Mac OS 8 and 9. I had, I don't know if it was a program or extension or something, you could change the themes and it looked kind of like this. And, oh, man, that, that's rough. There, there were some, some really, really bad ways to do OS themes. And uh, there still are some bad ways to do it. I mean, Microsoft Windows, for years, there was the opportunity to create a hideous monstrosity out of your OS by choosing one of these ridiculous themes that they would have plugged in. And you could get this going on right here. I mean, that's it's awful. So Apple has figured out how to make this dark theme look really terrific throughout the system. So, you know, for example, when you go into system preferences, here it is. I mean, looks terrific to me. I just really like the look of it. Um, let's see, when we open up applications, you can see how clean that looks. I mean, the way they've done it looks, looks really great. Highly recommend switching to dark mode and trying it out. All right, number two, continuity camera. Man, what a great feature. Apple gave us the ability here to take a picture with the phone and have it, boom, dropped right into your document or whatever you're working on in macOS. So let's take a look at how this works. So I'm in a pages document here, just for an example. You can use this in, in a number of different uh, situations, different apps. So uh, I want to drop in, I want to import from iPhone. So it's, it's under the insert menu up here. Import from iPhone or iPad. So I'm going to choose my iPhone. I'm going to say take photo. It says, all right, well, go ahead. Yeah, take a photo. It's fine. Just just do it. Just take a photo. All right. So my phone comes up here, and I'll, I'll just do, you know, nothing here. My little interface. Yeah, gorgeous. Okay. And then it says, all right, you want to use this? So I tap use photo. It says, okay, there you go. It's in your pages document now. Hey, -oh! continuity camera. That's it. Brilliant. Number three is the desktop stacks. Now, um, this is a really great feature for people who wreck their desktop with documents and folders everywhere and have trouble staying organized. I'm the kind of person where this goes in cycles for me. I'll end up with a lot of stuff on my desktop, then I get frustrated with it, and I uh, throw everything into typically this folder right here, a temp folder which becomes a secondary desktop file where I just don't have anything out in the open. It's still a mess. But uh, what Apple has done is said, all right, let's give them a way to organize things by type on the desktop by stacking them up together by type. So you right click on the desktop and choose use stacks. It organizes everything here by type. So I've got a stack of images here. So I click that and it unfolds all of the images that are there. Click it again, boom. So love this, great feature, and uh, that's going to help me keep my desktop clean. I highly recommend you uh, turn that on if you are one of those people like me who tend to get a real messy desktop pretty quick. Number four is the ability to edit in Quick Look. So I'm going to pop these images back open again here, and we'll choose an image here. So as you know, hopefully, when you select an image, you can hit the space bar and get a preview of that without opening up the preview app. It's a call, it's called Quick Look. So now you have editing abilities within Quick Look. So you click the, the little button there, the um, editing tools button, and now I've got all the same editing tools I can have in preview still just as part of the Quick Look uh, set up here. So if you want to be really fast about this and uh, you're trying, especially creating a meme or something like that, I'm just going to add some text here. I've got Scully, Mulder, and you know, this is from the X files. All right, drop that in the middle and I can hit done. It'll save it or revert to go back. So when I hit done, it is saved. Hit the space bar again. It's gone. I've edited the image without opening up preview. Great feature. 
Love that. Okay, number five is the screenshot utility. You're like, oh, really? That's one of your favorites? Are you serious? I do screenshots all the time. So, yes, this is one of my favorites. And uh, what I like about this is it's added a whole new layer of functionality here, whereas before, you know, you had some options. You had some little keyboard combinations you could use. I actually have a video about that on my channel, um, how to take different kinds of screenshots. And, and, you know, once you learn the combos, you can do a lot of different things with it. You had... Um, Command Shift 3, Command Shift 4, and now there's Command Shift 5. So when you click Command Shift 5, it brings up a box here, and this is what you're going to do a screenshot of. So let's say I want to do a screenshot of um, these folders. All right, there we go. So I've got it squared away, so to speak. And then I've got my options down here. I can capture um, the selected portion which is what I did. I can also still say, well, go ahead and get the whole, uh, get a window that I have selected here. So if there's a window open, you can select that and capture it or capture the entire screen by clicking here. Um, there's also the ability to go ahead and record the screen right here, which is a great feature. You can just turn this on and record something or just record this portion right here. If you're creating some kind of video tutorial or something like that. And then there's a, um, some options here. Where do you want to save it? Save it to the desktop, documents, clipboard. Where do you want to put this thing? Uh, you've got a timer. Okay, give me give me 10 seconds to uh, comb my hair. And boom, capture. And you get whatever you ask for right there. Number six, I really love the dynamic desktop. And you can see right here, I've got a, a terrific looking desktop picture here. I'm recording this at night. And the picture is a picture of a uh, desert at night. Uh, the Mojave Desert, I would assume. And uh, what's great about this is this image will change as the time of day changes. I think the best, easiest way for me to show you this is basically on Apple.com. And so you can see right now when it's set at night what happens. But when you start to shift, let's go backwards in time into the, the evening. Man, that looks great. It looks really great. Midday, full tilt, day theme. Looks great. So um, there's only two images right now that just come as default as dynamic desktop images in the OS. I'm sure they're going to be adding more, I would think. Number seven, new apps. I love the Mac OS Mojave apps they've incorporated. I have wanted to have the news app on Mac OS for a while, so now it's there, and you've got all of your channels and all the different things you're following. It's, it's great. If you've used the news app, it's a very similar experience. Really love it. This is probably my favorite of the apps. Uh, voice memos is terrific. You can click record, record a voice memo. Hi, we're having a great time here with these apps. And save that for later. And then uh, you've got the uh, stocks app, which you have on iOS. And now you've got it on the Mac. Great. You know, you can follow different stocks. There's also business news uh, up here, top stories, all that sort of thing. Love that. And then finally, the Home app, which I have made zero use of as of yet. That doesn't mean I'm not going to. I'm actually looking forward to at some point adding accessories and, and starting to use this functionality. Uh, it's, it's really exciting what you can do with this stuff. Those are the top seven favorite features. I'm calling them the best features. You know, Tell me what you think in the comments. I hope you'll install Mac OS Mojave. I think it's a great upgrade. It's very stable. I've had zero problems with it. And uh, look forward to uh, hearing what you have to say about it down below. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.